Say Jeezy Pay Enterprise. Online version upgrade. 8.6.2.0. Or 10.60.200. EPF new contribution rate for employers share. Please take note. Your version must be 8.6.0.0 or higher. Or 10.60.000 or higher. You must have the internet connection for latest version upgrading purposes. How to check on your current EPE version and how to upgrade the version. To check on your version. First, select Help. And, select About. The database version stated is your current version. If you wish to check on any later update, select Help. And, select Check for Update. The system will download the latest update if there is any latest version released. Kindly wait for the download to complete. The Easy Pay Update screen will shown after the download is completed. Select Yes to install the latest version. Kindly wait for the installation to complete the setup. The system will request for your backup before the upgrade of your database. Select Yes to continue. Log into your database as usual by key in your user ID and password. The system will start to update your database at this moment. Kindly wait for it to complete. Once the upgrade is complete, you may select Save to save the update file to another location to update another PC. Select Exit to close the screen. Check again on your version to make sure you have successfully upgraded the database. Select Help and select About. Your version has successfully upgraded. How is the new EPF policy effect on EPE payroll module? Example 1. Check on the EPF policy on the employee record by selecting Modules and select EPF Progression. The system will automatically create a new policy which is EPF year 2012 January for each of the active employee records. The EPF scheme will follow your previous EPF progression setting. For EPF scheme as EPF mandatory, go to Pay Record. Highlight all the pay record and select Reprocess. Select Yes to confirm the process. Select the employee record to check on the EPF contribution. The new EPF policy is now take effect on the pay record with earning of 5000 and below. Check on the EPF policy on the employee record by selecting Modules and select EPF Progression. The system will automatically create a new progression which is EPF year 2012 January for each of the active employee records. The EPF scheme will follow your previous EPF progression setting. For EPF scheme as EPF mandatory and voluntary, you are required to set up the EPF table. To set up the EPF table, Go to Setup. Select EPF or SOTSAW Table Setup. Scroll down from the EPF or SOTSAW Table. Select EP12ST. Highlight on row minimum salary of 10 to 5000 for the age of 0 to 55 and select Modify. Select the template to template 3. Select ceiling for the first selection on the row of voluntary contribution. Select round near for the second selection on the row of voluntary contribution. Select the employer tab. And also select the template to template 3. Same as the employee tab. Select ceiling on the first selection. And select round near on the second selection. Select the save button to save the changes. Move on to the next salary range and click the Modify button. Repeat the steps as previous.
Next, select the minimum salary from 10 to 5,000 for the age from 55 to 99. And set the template as exactly as the previous changes. Lastly, select the minimum salary from 5000 to the maximum range for the age of 55 to 99. Do the same setup as the previous. After the completion for the setup, you are required to reprocess the pay record for the changes to take effect. Go to Pay Record. Highlight all the pay record and select Reprocess. Select Yes to confirm the process. Select the employee record to check on the EPF contribution. The new EPF policy is now take effect on the pay record with earning of 5000 and below.